Hello dear viewers, I once again welcome you all. Now we are going to uh, start a series of classes about various cell organelles and today uh, we are going to discuss about endoplasmic reticulum. Fine. So endoplasmic reticulum uh, is uh, cell ke andar, cytoplasm ke andar present hota hai. and this endoplasmic reticulum it is a network of tubular structures. Network of tubular structures. Fine. You can see here, this is the endoplasmic reticulum and you can see here the tubular structures and these tubular structures are interconnected to each other. So we call it as a network of tubular structures and these tubular structures are called as cisterni. Fine. These tubular structures are called as cisterni and the network of these tubular structures are co is called as the endoplasmic reticulum. Fine. These tub tubes or tubular structures has the hollow space inside and that hollow space is called as the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, and this lumen, jo hai, this lumen is filled with a fluid which is called as endoplasmic matrix. Endoplasmic matrix. Okay, and the diameter of this lumen is 400 to 700 angstrom. Fine. So, when we talk about the introduction of endoplasmic reticulum, this endoplasmic reticulum is a network of tubular structures which are interconnected to each other and these tubular structures are continuous with the, uh, the uh, nuclear membrane. Okay, so these tubular structures, hai, they are interconnected to each other and these tubular structures or these tubes are called as cisterni. Fine, and then this endoplasmic reticulum or this, these tubular structures has the hollow space inside. That hollow space is called as the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum and this lumen has the diameter of 400 to 700 angstrom and it is filled with a matrix with a fluid that matrix is called as endoplasmic matrix. Fine. Now, this endoplasmic reticulum we divide into two types. One is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum and the second is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, which is simply called as RER and SER. Fine. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum because you can see the granular, small granular structures present on its surface. Okay, and these granular, these dotted structures uh, are called as ribosomes. Okay, the ribosomes are attached on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, which makes its surface rougher. So it is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum. And these ribosomes are granular structures. These are small granules. So the presence of these ribosomes on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, that is why this rough endoplasmic reticulum is also called as granular endoplasmic reticulum. Fine. So it is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum because the surface uh, is rough because of the presence of ribosomes on its surface and these ribosomes are small, small granular structures. So this type of endoplasmic reticulum is also called as granular endoplasmic reticulum. 
fine and then the second type of endoplasmic reticulum is called as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum because there is the absence of these granular structures and the surface of such type of endoplasmic reticulum is very smooth that is why it is called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum and sometimes called as a granular endoplasmic reticulum That means there is absence of these granules which are present on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, the absence of ribosomes. So endoplasmic reticulum is a network of tubular structures and these tubular structures are interconnected to each other. These tubes are called as cisterni. They have a hollow space inside which is called as lumen with the diameter of 400 to 700 angstrom and this lumen contains a fluid which is called as endoplasmic matrix and on the basis of presence or absence of these ribosomes, the endoplasmic reticulum is divided into two types, rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Fine? So, now we'll discuss about the functions of smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Yes, <clears throat> so now we'll discuss about the rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Let's first discuss about the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This rough endoplasmic reticulum, as I have told you, that these, this type of endoplasmic reticulum has the ribosomes attached. So there is the presence of ribosomes on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum which makes the surface rough so it is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum. Fine. So you all might have uh, studied in your previous classes the functions of ribosomes. Okay, the ribosomes uh, they are called as the protein factories of the cell. Protein factories. So, these ribosomes are involved in the synthesis of proteins. So, the presence of these ribosomes on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, so because of that, the first function of rough endoplasmic reticulum becomes the synthesis of proteins. Synthesis of proteins. Fine, and this rough endoplasmic reticulum is usually involved in the synthesis of such proteins which are secreted by the cells. Okay, which are utilized uh, in the different uh, in the other cells or different parts of the body. For example, insulin. Okay, insulin is secreted by the beta cells of Islets of Langerhans. Okay, so such type of proteins are synthesized in the endoplasmic, sorry, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so the first function of rough endoplasmic reticulum is it is involved in the synthesis of proteins. Okay, the second function of rough endoplasmic reticulum is degradation of degradation of worn out cell organelles. Okay, degradation of worn out cell organelles is calm major head this rough endoplasmic reticulum plays an important role what do you mean by worn out worn out means tired or exhausted tired or exhausted okay when any cell organelle inside the cell becomes very tired or becomes very exhausted now it is not able to do its functions properly for example mitochondria mitochondria is continuously generating the energy for the cell and at one time this mitochondria becomes very exhausted very tired so now it is not able to function now it is not able to generate uh, more energy for the cell so that 
cell organelle which becomes tired or exhausted that needs to be degraded and for that degradation of such type of cell organelle this rough endoplasmic reticulum plays an important role okay for example this is endoplasmic reticulum sorry rough endoplasmic reticulum okay this rough endoplasmic reticulum wraps itself around this degrade sorry worn out cell organelle okay it wraps itself this rough endoplasmic reticulum wraps itself around the worn out cell organelle and then they uh, form a structure which is called as autophagosome autophagosome okay and this autophagosome then gets detached from this rough endoplasmic reticulum and this autophagosome comes in contact with the lysosome later and then that lysosome degrades this worn out cell organelle okay so the first uh, thing the wrapping uh, of this um, this worn out cell organelle is done by the rough endoplasmic reticulum so this becomes an important function of rough endoplasmic reticulum that it is involved in the degradation of worn out cell organelle okay <coughs> So now we have uh, discussed about the two important functions of rough endoplasmic reticulum. Usually the rough endoplasmic reticulum is involved in the synthesis of proteins because it has the ribosomes attached on its surface. Okay, then the second function of rough endoplasmic reticulum is when any cell organelle becomes exhausted or tired, that cell organelle needs to be degraded and for that degradation, this rough endoplasmic reticulum plays an important role. Then we'll discuss about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, smooth endoplasmic reticulum jo hai, smooth endoplasmic reticulum is also called as a granular endoplasmic reticulum because it does not have the granular structures or the ribosomes present on its surface. Okay, as we know that the uh, presence of the uh, ribosomes on rough endoplasmic reticulum makes the rough endoplasmic reticulum involved in the uh, synthesis of proteins but this smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have the ribosomes on its surface so it is not involved in the synthesis of proteins but it is involved in the synthesis of non-protein substances non-protein substances the first function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that it is involved in the synthesis of non-protein substances. And these non-protein substances is, for example, lipids, especially phospholipids. Okay, cholesterol, the steroid hormones. etc. Fine? So, this uh, first function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum is it is involved in the synthesis of non-protein substances and non-protein substances are lipids, phospholipids, cholesterol and steroid hormones. Then, the second function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that it is involved in the various cellular metabolic activities. Cellular metabolic activities. Fine. This uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum has on its surface the presence of various enzymes. 
okay various enzymes are present on the outer surface of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the uh, function of those enzymes or the presence of those enzymes on its surface makes it involved in various cellular metabolic activities then the third function is storage and release of calcium fine the smooth endoplasmic reticulum jo hai it is involved in the storage of calcium for example in the skeletal muscle fibers skeletal muscle fibers okay skeletal muscle fibers are skeletal muscles which are present here in our upper limb lower limb okay so these skeletal muscles which are in our control which are voluntary muscles these skeletal muscles for their contraction they need calcium okay so they need calcium that calcium is stored in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and when these skeletal muscle fibers need to contract these this smooth endoplasmic reticulum release that calcium so that our skeletal muscle fibers can easily contract so the third important function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum becomes that it is involved in the storage and release of calcium then the another important function is detoxification of toxic substances okay this smooth endoplasmic reticulum is also involved in the detoxification of toxic substances for example in the liver cells or hepatocytes in the liver cells this 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 smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in the detoxification of various toxic substances like drugs okay like drugs th these drugs which can have the adverse effects in our body those drugs need to be detoxified and that detoxification is done by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and uh, apart from drugs it also detoxifies the carcinogens the cancer producing agents okay so the important functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the type of endoplasmic reticulum where the granules are not attached or the ribosomes are not present on its surface the important functions becomes it is involved in the synthesis of non protein substances like lipids phospholipids cholesterol and steroid hormones and then it is um, involved in the various cellular metabolic activities because of the presence of the various enzymes on its surface then it is involved in the storage and release of calcium especially in the skeletal muscle fibers and then it is involved in the detoxification of toxic substances like drugs and carcinogens especially in the hepatocytes or liver cells so that is all about the basics of endoplasmic reticulum the structure and the functions hope you enjoyed today's class if you have any query or any suggestion all the queries and suggestions are most welcome in the comment section please like and share this video and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon thank you